Hello guys, I'm Mr. Mechanic and I'm here with another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to uh, design this 3D model in the SOLIDWORKS and uh, for doing that, firstly, uh, we draw uh, this part of the model, then we will uh, draw the uh, sketch of this uh, part. So, uh, we will go through uh, this project. Uh, before getting started, uh, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and put your comments. So, let's get started as soon as possible. Uh, uh, here I have the dimensions and uh, the dimensions here i have the dimensions and firstly i uh, i'm going to draw the sketch of uh, the sketch of uh, the top side of the model uh, this is the top view of the model this is the front view and this is the right view of the model so uh, i'm going to draw the sketch of the front uh, view of the model i'm going to draw the sketch of uh, this section so firstly uh, i have to close this model so for closing the model uh, come here and click on close now i have to make a new part for making a new part uh, come in here and uh, uh, click on new part okay now we have a new part uh, firstly i have to choose a plane uh, i search to uh, choose the front plane it doesn't matter which plane you use but um, it's much better to use the front plane first at first so here i to, uh, click on the front plane and I click on a sketch now I have open a sketch um, I'm going to use the uh, corner rectangle so choose the uh, corner rectangle and uh, when you get closer origin point an orange point here appears it means that you if you click on this uh, orange point the corner of the rectangle will be connected to the origin point so uh, draw a rectangle here and right click select to exit the tool now choose the smart dimension the dimension of this line is 100 millimeter and the dimension of this line is uh, 120 millimeter now uh, i'm going to apply a fillet here so i choose a uh, sketch fillet and i choose this point and this point and the radius of the fillet must be 30 millimeter and here cup uh, and uh, here uh, keep a constrained corner uh, and okay yes and uh, now we have to extrude the sketch uh, here coming feature uh, if you don't have the feature tab you can uh, simply right click and uh, turn on the feature so uh, here click on extruded boss and base uh, and in the selected contour uh, choose this region and uh, here must be a sketch plane blind don't turn off these two options and uh, here uh, we have to extrude the sketch about uh, 20 millimeter yes uh, we have to extrude the sketch about 20 millimeter and click on ok uh, now we have to uh, uh, design uh, this part of the model here so uh, i'm going to use this surface uh, we can design the 3d models uh, with many strategies but um, uh, you have to do practice at home uh, to learn how to design so uh, I'm going to use uh, this surface uh, and uh, click on this surface and click on sketch now we have a new sketch um, here we, uh, we can have the uh, many uh, views for example this view this view and uh, uh, here click on a sketch and click on normal too and uh, here I'm going to use uh, this uh, view to draw the sketch so here i choose line and i draw a line here or uh, we can use the rectangle so uh, please uh, uh, choose the corner rectangle and uh, start drawing a rectangle from this point and draw a rectangle yes and uh, hold the control button and choose this line and this line here and in add relation give it collinear relation yes and uh, here choose a sketch fillet the and uh, choose this point so we have to uh, change the radius of the fillet the radius of the fillet is 20 millimeter so here change it to 20 millimeter and again choose uh, this point and this point and here apply the fillet now choose the smart dimension the dimension from um, this line to this line is uh, 30 millimeter and our sketch is fully fine everything is black and i can't move my sketch now uh, here uh, click on a uh, feature extruded boss and base and uh, uh, here uh, choose selected contour and choose this region uh, 
Uh, you have to reverse the direction of the extrusion. So uh, if I click on the uh, OK, you can see uh, it extrude the uh, sketch to this side of the model. So uh, for editing the uh, extrude, uh, extruded boss and base, you can uh, click on uh, this extrusion and uh, click on edit feature and we have to um, uh, reverse the direction and in the direction one uh, you can uh, click on reverse direction uh, here must be merge results so uh, here don't uh, turn on the direction two and okay now all we have to do is just uh, draw two slots on uh, these two surfaces so uh, here choose this surface and uh, click on a sketch and hold the control and 8 button on your keyboard to have the normal view so here choose a center line um, uh, sorry center point a straight slot and draw a, a slot here and right click select to exit the tool uh, here choose a smart dimension the radius of this uh, arc is um, 15 millimeter and uh, this point, the center of the slot, must be coincident to this point here. So hold the control button and choose these two points. So again, choose this point and um, this point here is a little bit hard to choose the points. So here, in adulation, give it vertical relation. Our sketch is not still full defined because it is still moving. So I'm going to apply a dimension. Choose a smart dimension. The dimension of this line is um, 60 millimeter, and the dimension from this point to uh, this point here is um, 30 millimeter. Our sketch is full defined, and everything is black, and I can't move my uh, sketch. Here, uh, uh, come in feature and choose extruded cut and uh, in selected contour choose this region and uh, here uh, in end and uh, in end condition choose uh, through all and uh, it will extrude the sketch through all the model and here must be a sketch plane don't uh, choose this option and don't turn on the direction to end the theme feature and uh, click ok now we have to do the same thing uh, on this surface so uh, choose this surface and click on the sketch and hold the control and 8 button on your keyboard and uh, here choose a uh, center point uh, start a slot and draw a, a slot here and uh, move your slot a little bit choose a smart dimension the dimension of uh, this line is 18 millimeter and the dimension of this line and the dimension from this line to this line is um, uh, is um, I think is 30 millimeter. Our sketch is not a still full defined because the sketch is still moving. So the radius of this arc is uh, six millimeter, and uh, this point must be uh, horizontal to this point. So hold the control button and choose these two points and give it horizontal relation. Now all we have to do is just extrude, uh, cut, make a cut extrude on this surface. So uh, come here uh, feature and uh, click on extruded cuts and here choose uh, through all and a sketch plane don't turn on these two options and in selected contour choose uh, this region and okay and we designed the model it was a pretty simple um, exercise uh, please uh, practice at home i will uh, leave the link below uh, the caption the link of the dimensions so uh, i have uploaded over 30 videos about um, drawing the sketch please watch those pr uh, videos and uh, don't forget to um, subscribe to my youtube channel and post your comments uh, thanks for watching this video